Lake Mead Water Level Today 26, June 2023 As of today, June 26, 2023, the water level of Lake Mead is 1,054.4 feet above sea level. This is up from 1,040.71 feet in July 2022, but still well below the historical average of 1,120 feet. The water level has been rising in recent months due to a combination of factors, including increased snowmelt in the Rocky Mountains and increased releases from Lake Powell. However, the water level is still below the critical level of 1,075 feet, which is the point at which water deliveries to Arizona, Nevada, and California would be curtailed. The status of Lake Mead is a matter of great concern for water managers in the Southwest. The reservoir is the largest reservoir in the United States and provides water to millions of people in the region. However, Lake Mead has been shrinking for decades due to drought and increased water demand. If the water level continues to drop, it could have a devastating impact on the economy and environment of the Southwest. Why is the level still falling? The recent rains and storms in the West that helped to temporarily raise water levels in some reservoirs, but the overall trend is still downward. This is because the drought in the West is not just a matter of a few dry years. It is a multi-decadal mega-drought that is being exacerbated by climate change. The recent rains and storms have not been enough to offset the long-term decline in snowpack and river flows. In fact, some of the water that has fallen has simply evaporated or seeped into the ground, rather than being captured in reservoirs. In addition, the demand for water in the West is still rising, as more people move to the region and as cities and farms expand. This means that even if the water levels in reservoirs were to rise, they would likely not be enough to meet demand. The combination of climate change, drought, and increasing demand for water means that the water levels in the West are likely to continue to fall for the foreseeable future. This could have serious consequences for the region, including water shortages, increased risk of wildfires, and declining agricultural productivity. Here are some additional factors that are contributing to the falling water levels in the West. Increased evaporation due to rising temperatures. Increased water use by cities and farms. Decreased snowpack due to warmer winters. Changes in the timing of precipitation. Human-caused climate change. The good news is that there are some things that can be done to help mitigate the effects of the drought. These include investing in water conservation measures, developing new water sources such as desalination plants, reducing water demand by changing agricultural practices, adapting to the changing climate. It is important to remember that the drought in the West is a complex problem with no easy solutions. However, by taking action now, we can help to ensure that the region has a sustainable water future.